and today we're going to be talking about this guy right here this is the drc h16e this is a i call it a hobby grade because you can upgrade it and you can get parts to fix it but it's also a ready to run beginner rc as well this thing is super fast it's got a brushless drive it's got a very tough chassis but we're going to look at all that in just a second first i'm going to show you this footage of me cruising this thing around tearing up some dirt and grass and then we're going to pop the top off look inside show you everything that you're going to get inside the car and then we're going to do the unboxing so let's get to it all right let's see what kind of takeoff power it has in the grass good enough for wheelies now this little car did come with a wheelie bar and it comes with the wing that you can add it does not come on it so you do have to put those on but we're going to see what this little rc is made of real quick now on the controller there are two different settings you can run at 70 percent or 100 percent depending on the ability of your driver i am running on 100 percent So as you can see, this is quite a motivated little truck. We're going to go ahead and pop these body clips out. You can see the spoiler right here. You can see the wheelie bar in the back. You have these nice air-filled tires with these cool rims with the red centers. A big bumper on the front. You do have an LED bar right here. If you take it off and look inside, check this out. You have these plastic and aluminum shocks. You have metal dog bones. You can control your toe in right here. You do have metal gears in the differential. I can see the metal cups in there. It has a metal shaft connecting the front to the back. This is where your brushless motor is. This is your receiver and your ESC. They are separate in this one. And you can see the metal dog bones in the back as well. So a very nice upgradable little RC car. You can run this on 2S and 3S. It only comes with a 2S battery. So that's what I ran it with but you can get a lot more speed out of this if you order a 3S battery along with it. It's very capable, it's a wheelie monster, it's gonna be lots of fun, and it's gonna get the job done. Let's go ahead and cut to the unboxing. Okay, so what'd you think about the performance of this little DRC H16E? Not too bad. It's a very nice, sturdy little RC. So let's go ahead. We're gonna open this little car up. And the first thing you're going to see is a user manual. The user manual will have things such as replacement part numbers and ways to order new parts. And it's also going to have exploded views as well of caution lithium battery. And here is the little truck. Check this dude out right here. A very, very low profile cabin. 4x4 truck. Feels like air filled tires and friction. No, nope, actually it feels like oil shocks. Very nice. And on the side it says saboteur four-wheel drive off-road now inside the bottom box here let's see what we have i think that's going to be everything you do have a battery right here so this car does come with two batteries i have one actually charging out in the garage right now you're going to get a screwdriver a charge cord and a, a wheel wrench as well you do have a wing that you have to add or 
I guess it's optional, but the wing is here if you do want to put it on. You're going to get a wheelie bar that you can screw on. I do recommend this, and you're going to have some extra body clips, and then you have your actual controller itself. Just a very basic little controller. You can see you have a couple adjustments right here, a little mode button, a place to attach a lanyard. It does have foam on the wheel, and then you're going to have to install two AA batteries. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pull the body off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point the camera down so you can get a, a better look at the inside of this little vehicle right here. So this is going to be a hobby, hobby grade slash toy grade car. And check out the inside of this little guy right here. How nice is this? The shocks actually feel really nice. They are, they have to be oil filled. It has a gray tub style chassis with the little grid pattern on the inside for extra support. You do have a separate receiver right here. And then here's your ESC for the brushless drive. This is a brushless truck. You do have a cooling fan. You do have a light hooked up and your servo is underneath and it does have a built-in servo saver that is spring loaded. It comes with the Dean's plugs on it and it has this little door right here for your battery. Now what's really interesting about this truck and I don't know if you can see in there or not. But you can see that metal shaft on the inside. So it does have metal gears. It does have a metal shaft connecting the front to the rear. You do have metal CVs in the front, metal dog bones in the back. The cups are also metal. And the shocks are plastic bodies with metal caps. And you can adjust your toe as well, which is a very nice feature that they added. So this is going to be a very capable and upgradable little RC for sure. But in this video, we ran it with just the stock battery, no upgraded batteries, because I wanted you to see what you were going to get. So overall, a quite impressive little RC truck. You could upgrade this motor if you wanted to. You could put a bigger battery in it. Replacement parts aren't going to be an issue, but on top of that, it's extremely tough, so you probably are not, are not going to need very many parts unless you just really abuse this thing like at the skate park or you slam into walls or crazy stuff like that. I hope this video helps so thanks for watching.